It's not easy to explain tax avoidance, but a new protest against Apple makes overseas tax woes easier than ever to follow. Introducing iDodge. British comedians organized a flash mob to protest Apple's tax havens in Ireland by declaring this store Irish territory. The country's friendly laws have brought in foreign firms, but the U.S. Senate says they also helped Apple avoid at least $74 billion in taxes. Though the flash mob was all in good fun, the point wasn't missed online. Lucy tweets, hope Apple will listen and start paying tax in the U.K. like I do. Next, how can women combat sexual harassment in the Beijing subway? Police suggest they shelter their bodies with a newspaper or a bag. According to China Daily, it's part of new guidelines to fight harassment, but it's led to ridicule online with sites like Shanghai's posting satirical pictures like this. Film tweets, blame the victim 2013. Others defended the police. On Reddit, one user wrote, Beijing police are just trying to protect their citizens. And our last leads out of Singapore, where some bloggers are going offline Thursday for a 24-hour internet blackout. Their message? Free my internet. They're protesting government regulations on certain news sites that now must pay $39,000 as insurance against undermining racial or religious harmony. The government argues it's to ensure consistency, not censorship, and defenders say blogs won't be affected. But bloggers say the law is too broad. And some will take their protests off the web to demonstrate on June 8th. Are you planning to join the protests? Let us know. Use hashtag AJStream. Femi?